this is rishi speaking i'm working as a software engineer with an experience of eight years in data engineering i'm also a corporate trainer in data engineering from last four years i'm currently working as a lead data engineer in one of the largest retail company in united states of america i have worked on different tech stacks like python sql airflow aws databricks azure informatica redshift and many other data engineering tools i have worked on multiple domains like banking retail supply chain advertising marketing domains in this video i'll show you how quickly you can create a pipeline using an airflow uh, before directly jumping on to the creation of airflow i'll quickly explain you what exactly an airflow is airflow is nothing but the uh, data pipeline tool where you can create a pipelines to move the data from one layer to the another layer uh, in your project once the airflow setup is available uh, you will have uh, a, a folder called airflow or any other uh, folder but here i have given the folder name as airflow under that you will have a dax folder this is the important folder where you will create a dax so what exactly the DAG is? DAG is a uh, graph. Uh, DAG is a kind of graph representation of data flow. Uh, I'll show you that in a quickly. Um, once you have this DAGs folder, you will create a Python script in it, and you can give the naming convention however as per your standards. And once you have once you created the file, you will import uh, from Airflow. You'll import this DAG uh, task. And along with that, you will uh, import the other operators like Python operator, bash operator, email operator. Airflow will have uh, multiple operators for each and every uh, functionality. If it's a Python, you can use Python operator, bash, bash operator you can use. Uh, like here you can see I have imported the, those operators. And if you are using any other operators, you can, you can also import that. If it is not available, you just need to install in your airflow and uh, you can uh, import them so installation is also like very quickly it will not take much time like if you do a pip install of that operator you can directly uh, go from airflow dot provider this mysql operator i just imported like a pip install uh, mysql operator then i imported in this way like um, now it is uh, we can import it so if you're using other operators like a redshift operator like you can import that redshift operator and then you can continue so this is the uh, starting point of like DAG creation so here you can give the name of the DAG and when exactly your schedule is and when is the start date of the uh, DAG and the default parameters like a retries uh, how many retries retries is nothing but if in case any DAG fails in between uh, by this many number of times it will retry and the catch up you can set it to the false and these are nothing but the tasks so for each and every task uh, the task id will be there this is the name which it will be uh, displayed on the uh, airflow i'll show you that in a minute and as it's a python operator you need to give uh, python callable this is nothing but the python function so if you just uh, go to this like you will see what well, this is one function uh, like uh, using which like uh, whatever uh, this is one function like um, just like it executes when when this operator when this particular task it executes and this is the parameters you are sending to that um, python function similarly you will have multiple tasks see you can see here multiple tasks you can see this is the number of tasks this is nothing but the dependency you can create uh, let me just quickly go back to the airflow this is the dag this is called the dag so if you once you have uh, the airflow, if you click on this tag, you will have you will get the multiple tags. So here, if you see the raw raw to cube is the DAG name which we have given in the uh, in this file. This raw to cube is the name which we have given, and this is the schedule we have given. What exactly it means is every day it will uh, execute at morning, uh, nine o'clock. Uh, and uh, if you if you get into this like uh, this is a grid representation uh, we want to see in a graph representation you can click on this graph so here you can see um, the multiple tasks so this each and everything is nothing but a single single task and you can see this is uh, this is a python operator based on the color you can see that whichever operator this is so here we have how many tasks it's six six plus two eight tasks are there if you come back here you can see t1 to t8 eight tasks are there this t this is just variable name you can give any name whatever you want 
so if you see here i have given the representation as like first is my t1 and the next is my t2 next is my t3 the next is t7 and t8 so the same way if you see this is my t1 t2 t3 and this is t7 and this is t8 the similarly t4 t5 t6 t7 t8 so the t7 t8 is common here that's why we have only single of this so uh so in my in my project and uh, this particular r auto cube what exactly this is doing is so uh, i have basically two files the sales file and the store uh, stores file uh, so whenever my uh, process starts what exactly it does is it goes and checks whether the file exists or not in the location uh, and it will validate the uh, file uh, sales file whichever has been received and once the validation is done it will load to the staging table similarly it it does for the stores file as well and this is something like a checkpoint uh, this is an empty operator this is something like a checkpoint the reason being so we want our sales monthly the next task has to execute uh, only when both of the sales and the stores stage load is completed so that's why it's called some checkpoint we have given and this is nothing but the sales monthly uh, the sales monthly is nothing but uh, it generates um, the monthly level sales and writes into a table um, and now we got a new uh, requirement like uh, they are they are also along with these two they are also sending the products file and they want to generate the sales product monthly so let's see how exactly we can do that uh, so as we have uh, we don't have a task for the product so we need the similar task for the product even for the product we need to build whether the product file exists or not and the, similarly we need to validate the schema as well for the product and we need to load okay so let's copy this task this is my uh, task for uh, let's give it as t9 this is my product task give me this product my schema name i'll just give a product uh, this schema name is nothing but um, the schema name check file exists the check file exists what exactly check file exists is taking it is taking a schema name schema name which is coming from the file format okay also okay this is the product okay so basically this is the product okay the product name is fine here now let's now we have a task for product file exists let's create a task for validating the product file so we have already a validation this is the validate schema correct let's create here validate schema or the pipe you can you can use the same uh, i mean like i have written a uh, function like it will handle for all of them so all i need to do is my, i need to give my product stage table that's all so now I have a uh, product file exist. I have my validation is done for product table. Now I need to create a task for stage load. So which is nothing but which let's do a similar thing. Okay. Now this one let's name it as product load and this is nothing but this is access product stage load okay basically we don't have product stage load so let's go and create that product stage load so how exactly okay we have a data load dot stage load uh, is nothing but in under the stage load we have all the loads so let's go to the stage load which is in data load let's go here okay so here we have some PySpath functionality using which uh, we are creating staging table insert so let's create a spark session here so we can copy the same thing here product load df equals to So file path, file format, and this is nothing but the product. 
I don't know. I think uh, this is something wrong here. This should be the product load. Product stage load. I think it's the same over here as well. file the product file we need to write that to a table write dot mode overwrite basically uh, we have a, a mechanism called like it'll it'll arrive every day so we have a partition by day so if the file comes in the wrong format uh, so there is a chance of like we need to re-execute if we re-execute this overwrite will take care of like deleting the old file so that's what uh, that is the reason uh, it has given as overwrite save as table now let's name this as product stage product stage let's use this function in our airflow go back to this this is our stage load just import this this is like now it is not showing okay now we have this let's go back and check what's happening over here there is some error what is the error well dead stores file like already exist oh we didn't change the file here let's go back and change this is the validate product file let's refresh this okay let's see what we have oh oh okay since we have not given any dependency it has it is just floating over here so let's go and give the dependency what is our first task which is nothing but t9 is our first t10 is our next t11 is our next let's see now what's happening here still the same mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why is it not coming usually it should come okay let me just give the um, I want everything to load back oh yeah there you go it takes some time to uh, reflect i guess okay now this is the new thing which we have created now we need to generate the sales product at monthly level so let's create a task for that t12 let's create a pipe another python operator because ours is a pi spark so that's why we have taken a python operator task id equals to this is nothing but sales product monthly level let's we need to give a python callable which is nothing but uh, so how exactly our sales monthly which is coming from which is coming from kubelot okay so we need to have a function over here we need to create sales product i'm very bad at typing product okay let's use this there and come let's come back and write the function let's kubelot okay this is our uh, cube load. okay let's use this product monthly over here 
and don't forget to give the DAG name otherwise it will not recognize okay now we have the DAG name okay. so this has to happen after my T12 let's see whether it comes it is not coming it is not coming so let me take some time to reflect If this happens like for a long time, we can do the uh, we can do the airflow restart. So with then yeah, there you go. So sales product monthly we got. Let's go ahead and fill that function. So where is that? Okay. So basically, what I need. Uh, So this one, sales product, this should not be the case, it's the same thing here. Sales monthly. So basically we need now Let's create a data frame spark.sql. Let's create a SQL select product ID, comma, uh, month ID, comma, sum of sales. Along with that, they also ask for units, sum of units from sales stage. Join with product stage. This is the new table which we have given on p dot product id equals to s dot product id group by product id comma month id. So this will give the sales function. Now we just need to write. So we need to write it as a table. So let's write this as sales product monthly. That's it. So now if we execute this, now uh, it will just check whether the file exists or not and it will just validate the product file is has received the schema as per expected or not and it starts loading the stage table and uh, this is the checkpoint once all three of them are done then only it come it execute this this is not it will not do anything it'll just do a dummy operator just like a checkpoint once this is finished this will start i think the naming convention i'm not given correct here i think let's go and fix that Product stage load. Let's refresh this. Oh, product stage load. It will come. will come I think this taking certain time but in the production environment it will not happen this one I'm just using my local environment to show you guys yeah there you go product stage load so like this you can create uh, your pipeline very simply it's very simple so it hardly takes a few minutes to create if you know the actual functionality so it's just like creating this tag is not at all difficult. That's all I want to cover in this. Thank you. Bye. Please subscribe for more updates on data engineering videos. Thank you.